Hey all you Bricksters, welcome, bienvenue, Freddy here from Two Loose Bricks with a Canadian view on the world of Lego Mega Blocks and other cool stuff. Hey all you Bricksters out there, it's Freddy from Two Loose Bricks. And I'm here with a Lego slash Mega Blocks haul from the USA. I was just down on a little road trip and I found some stuff and uh, all good deals. So let's just start it off with the big set right in front of us. Scooby-Doo! Set number 75904 to Mystery Mansion. 860 pieces. It's a whopper of a set. It's a cool, cool haunted house. I wanted a haunted house. I couldn't get the original haunted house. Um, this one here is pretty haunted. It is pretty cool. It is of the Scooby-Doo. Uh, series and it was a decent sale. The US price was $89.99. It was on clearance at Target for $62.98 and you know that's right within my price range. Uh, Canadian price I think is close to 100 or over 100. Uh, so you know being on sale I scooped that right up. It had the whole Scooby gang in there except Fred and uh, he was available with the mystery machine and of course another Scooby-Doo and Shaggy so we uh, got that as well that's not here uh, right now in this pile but this is the bargain stuff I got other than this the mystery machine was the only other one um, so I don't know why Lego does that puts most of the set a series of characters in a set and leaves one out or so so you have to go buy another set I guess it's their way of marketing to sell stuff uh, I don't think it would have cost them that much to throw the extra figure in there or ditch the ghost or the vampire because they're not, you know, there's the standard little ghost and vampire. Uh, the knight was actually, uh, is a pretty cool uh, figure because he's in a lot of Scooby-Doo stuff. So, anyway, that being said, moving right along, the next Lego set I got was a Lego Friends uh, 30204 and it's a uh, Fantasy Fountain. I guess you want to call it, and it has uh, one of the girls on a uh, set of uh, roller blades or roller skates uh, out in front of the fountain taking some pictures, and it's a cool little fountain that we can add in um, our city. Then uh, I picked up the Lego Star Wars C-3PO. Um, he was a polybag set that was given out back last year for the Force Awakens. Um, he doesn't have a stock number on it. Oh yes he does. 5002948 uh, for those wondering. And Toys R Us had a whole basket full of these things and they were selling them for $5.99. Seems a little steep but I couldn't get them around here to save my soul. Um, no one had them so um, they're selling for that or more on BrickLink. So I picked up one of them. Now heading off onto some other brick products. McFarland Toys has a series out called Five Nights at Freddy's. And of course, I had to pick up the 8-Bit Freddy because, well, that's my name, Freddy. So, um, there is a whole set of them of seven characters that you can uh, buy and construct. Uh, but I just wanted Freddy himself, and that was like $3.99 at Toys R Us, which was not too bad for that. Um, could certainly build him uh, other parts that I have, but it's okay. Um, I want the package as well, so that's really cool. So now, moving along, Toys R Us also had buy one Mega Bloks Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and get the second of equal or lesser value for half price. So I ended up buying originally my first trip into Toys R Us uh, two of the minifigures, Casey Jones, because he's rare to find, um, and Leo in the stealth camouflage. Um, they had a ton of them and only the one Casey Jones. So I wanted the Casey Jones and to pay, um, I think he was um, like three ninety nine or something like that, or maybe $6 or something like that, and you get the other one half price. So it was, you know, a pretty good deal. So um, why not get two? Same goes for these two sets here. Um, this one was $19.99. It's the Ninja Name Builder. Um, has 233 pieces. And basically you can build any name out of it um, up to... Um, there's so many letters. I think it's uh, uh, eight letters. That, uh, yeah, build up to a maximum of eight letters. It says right there on the box. I was just counting them there. Um, and it has a uh, Leo and a piece of pizza. And... 
it has a Leo and a piece of pizza brick, and that's really cool too. So uh, I'll do my name in that, pretty, and I think that'll look pretty cool. Um, it has the you know translucent green uh, base, so it looks sort of like uh, sewer, uh, <clears throat> you know. And it's really really uh, neat the uh, marbly brick pattern walls and the sewer pipe that you can put on top of letters type of thing. And also has a um, turtle-like crossing fighting sign. <laughs> That's rather unique in itself. Now, I bought that one and I got this one for half price, which was $9.99. And half price was $4.50. So, uh, I wanted another Donatello. I really like uh, the Donnie characters. And um, this one is sort of a, a little bit of a uh, boosted up pack. You know, it's got all his tech gear on it. He's there with a... Uh, a drone type thing and uh, it lights up um, I can't get it to press it now but it does light up I've seen the light on there and uh, it fires out yellow light uh, so um, you know that's not too bad so that is basically my haul from the USA um, my short little road trip down there I know it's not much but that's really all anybody had on sale or on clearance um, there was some Series 16 minifigures, I do believe, the newest series at Target, but it was an empty box. No, it was not at Target. I pulled that back. It was at Walmart, one of the Walmarts. And it was. I saw the box, and I headed right for it, and I was really disappointed because it was an empty box, and they're not even out here yet. They don't even have them out. They're still pumping out the Disney minifigures here. No Series 16, and they said they don't know when they're coming in. Oh my goodness, and they've been out like for weeks now, uh, or a month maybe even down in the USA. So that's kind of really irritating me. Um, but uh, there was no sales basically on uh, any Lego um, in any of the shops down there this past week. Usually Toys R Us has something, uh, buy one get 50% or something like that. Um, but uh, nothing on the Lego like that. Um, it was only on the Ninja Turtles Mega Blocks, buy one get one half price. So that being said that's about all i came home with with some lego uh there was some other neat things there but uh you know cost wise i just thought no um i'll hold back on that and uh when i found this big big bad boy at the target clearance um uh, i guess i was happy that i held off on the other stuff and to get that because i'm very very pleased if this is all i came back with then i would have been extremely happy anyway I will talk to you again in the next video. Until next time, I'm Freddy from Two Loose Bricks. And remember, if you can dream it, you can build it. I would really appreciate it if you would like, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel so I can bring you many more great reviews, mocks, hauls, builds, tutorials, and other wonderful videos.